Hello and welcome to our first Dunkable 2 tutorial. Today we're going to build a text-to-speech app. Here's an example of the completed app. When we click the button, it should play, it should speak whatever it is that we've typed into the text input. For example, hello students. We should be able to switch it up. Hello aliens, welcome to Earth and have it play whatever it is that we hope that it plays. So to build this app, the first thing we're going to do is we'll start off in our Dunkable Projects page. We're going to create a new app and we'll give it a name, text to speech, and we'll put in a category of education. And we've got to make sure the drag and drop builder is clicked. We're going to use, there's uh, drag and drop is the newer interface that Dunkable uses, and that's the one we're going to use here in this tutorial. So we'll click create. So we start here on the design screen, and the first thing we want to do is add a label that we'll essentially use as a title. So we'll start in this component area, and we can just drag it out. We could also just search for whatever we're looking for, but since label is so obviously here, we'll bring it out. The first thing we want to do is we want to give it a new name. We want to use good coding practice, make sure all of our components have a uh, specific title. So this will be our, say our title label. Next thing we want to do is we want to change the text to text to speech. And we'll change the size, how about to 28? Makes it a little bigger. We've got to do a little adjustment here to make sure it all shows. It should be fine. All right, we got text to speech front and center. Next thing we want to do is add a text component. So it's actually text input component. It's right here, but again, we could search for it, but we'll just drag it out. We don't need to do any modifications here. We've got our text to speech. We've got our text input component. And the last thing we're going to do is add a button. So the buttons are here. We can drag them out. We could also search for it, but don't really need to. Here's our button. We want to do a couple basic things here. Make sure it has re be that the uh, component is renamed so maybe this is our speak button and we can say something like speak and we don't really need to change the text uh, size but we could we can make it bold or do a whole lot of different things what happens if we raise it huh, doesn't really show a whole lot at this point okay so that's the first part of our app it should look just like this with a label a text input and a button that when we click it it'll ultimately speak whatever the user types in. Okay. We're going to go over to here to our block screen and you'll notice there's the UI components that we've added. There's built in uh, built in sort of blocks that do a variety of different things and there's built in app features that we can access in our app. So the first thing we want to do is uh, when the speak button is clicked that's the main event that's going to trigger any response within the program. So when the speak bu speech button is clicked I'm going to drag out the say hello block. Again, I'm sorry, go a little slower here. Under this block, this app feature says speech. We want this block that says say hello. We could, in theory, change the language if we wanted. And the last thing we need to do is under our text input, we want to grab this block, which is the text inputs text. So this is going to grab whatever the user types in. We're going to click it back in here. I don't think we need to do anything with hello. Oh. I'm going to click it in to make sure it clicks. And I don't think we, the hello was sort of the default. We don't need anything to do with it. But actually, that's all the coding that we need to do. So we want to test our app now. And we'll click here. We can just do a uh, test uh, preview here. We'll put in some stuff. Hello, students. Speak it. Hello, students. And that is our first app. So uh, congratulations on completing your first app. And Please continue on with your coding journey.